Hello, we're in Ottawa. This is a oil painting by Joseph Garley, dated 1970. And um, if I had to describe to you the whole Garley situation with the artists, I would be here for hours. But fundamentally, there is a family of Garliers who still are in Malta, many of them, and they painted reliable formulaic scenes of Malta for the tourist market, for the domestic market, for the gift market for the services market um, and there are mountains of Gallias and you have to draw the st distinction between the early Gallias and the small Gallias and the watercolour Gallias and the, the touristic luggage sized Gallias. This one is a superior Gallia because it's a rel relatively old Gallia, dated, it's unusual and it's, it's an oil and canvas. So, without going into the Gallia side of it so much, I'm just going to talk about the picture. The frame is probably not the original frame. Um, I think it's perhaps a 1980s or 90s frame. Could be the original frame, I don't think it is. Oil on canvas. The frame has staples to hold it together. I, I think in Malta, the original that would have had a a different frame. Some of the 70s frames are slightly strange to our, our taste now. They use Sometimes they use fabric on the frame, they use bits of gilt, bits of colour, mouldings. So I think that it is, as I say, not necessarily the original frame, but it's a nice frame. Okay, 1970, this is pine, a canvas, very nicely, simply made. No airs or graces, this is a canvas for a painting to be sold. But it's substantial in sand. There is a patch, an old patch. The canvas shows some creasing where the paint has dried unevenly. And on the front of the oil, you, you can see there is some creasing. It's not perfect condition. So there's, there's, there is this, 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 this creased texture, but it's, a, it's even, it's not in like one place. So I, I think it's relatively desirable. The, the paint has shrunk, has dried, there are some cracks, but it's an old picture. And it's a real picture. So what he's got here is he's got in Medina, we say, English people say Medina, they can't help it. It's Medina. This is Matafa or Umtafa, the British hospital. You have the church, the co-cathedral. So this is this is looking at Medina from near Takali, Tahali. Uh, again, I can't say it correctly for the Maltese, sorry. Takali was a spitfire. Aerodrome. And uh, you have a, 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 a marker which will be a, a, a niche, it will be, it won't be a milestone saying the letters this way, this is a saint. Local farmers would have put this together, it'll be, mark, it'll be de denoting a saint or a biblical uh, device, purgatory for example. You see purgatory in Malta depicted all over the place, warning people to be good. So rubble wall holy shrine and in fact in Malta you will see unfortunately a lot of them have gone and a lot of them have been pushed over and have been built all over and you will see them sometimes with candles going people will still put flowers on them sometimes pine tree pine tree fertile field fields this is a valley running up to Rabat which has got water and it's fertile so it's a, it's a place I know quite well lady with a I'm not sure whether it's a, a Faldet or a Gonella, I'm not sure. It's a traditional Maltese attire. When I was a child in Malta, you would very occasionally see people wearing them. They weren't wearing them for reenactments. You'd sometimes see people wearing them, private individuals wearing them in Valletta and Medina, Medina. The hood, black cloak, and there's a piece of whalebone on the rim of the cloak, so it provides a canopy, like an umbrella. So it's a very strange garment. And this this was the seventies was the tail end of that traditional attire. It's not a very nice looking garment in my view, but it's very distinctive. Okay, so we have a road, we have a Medina, Medina, we have a bright sun depicted quite in an interesting manner. It's very hard to paint the sun. He's painted it in a in a in a base in a, in a buttermilk creamy white. And you see here, Malta is looking hot. The sun is beating down. It's the middle of the day. She's got her sunscreen 
garment on with a whalebone. And that's, that is pretty much what it looks like now, except there's more cars now, the road's a bit wider. Um, I think it, it, you know, it smells of Malta, it depicts Malta. For investment purposes, big, not the, one of the trinkety ones. Um, it's in quite good condition. It's got a nice texture, nice shine. You can put on the wall, see it from the other side of the room. It's not these, as I say, it's not many little horrible touristic ones. I do have those as well, but this is a superior thing. Okay, thanks for looking.